You know, ever since they unveiled the Air Strobel stuff, the Zoom Strobel and the Air Strobel, I've been saying for the longest time, put that damn thing in every shoe that you've got, especially your retro or lifestyle models. They finally did it. Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. And yes, they actually have done it. They put air in the Nike Dunk. I gotta buy a vowel. <laughs> because, oh my God. So now it's called the Nike Air Dunk. Pretty cool. To be very specific, it's called the Nike Air Dunk Jumbo. So yeah, for those of you guys like myself that have been wanting these Air and Zoom Strobels put in all of our favorite retro shoes, especially the cup sold shoes like this, they're starting to do it. Unfortunately, they're f***ing with the models a little bit. Obviously this one got a little too hard, so it doesn't look exactly like a dunk. It kind of looks like they're trying to be an off-white version, in my opinion. But uh, the overall thought behind the product I think is great. So that's exactly why I grabbed a pair and why I wanted to talk about them. I think personally that this is really cool despite not loving the entire package visually. What I do love though is how soft this leather is. It is really nice especially when you compare it to the general release dunks which are straight cardboard like I swear the dunk feels like this box which sucks but this leather feels nice and soft much like today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is the good folks over at Soul Premise. And in case you are new here, Soul Premise is a longtime sponsor of the channel, so we greatly appreciate them. They make all kinds of bags, by the way. They make fanny packs, they make sports bags, they make backpacks, they make very large backpacks, they make duffels, most of which comes in premium leather. However, if you're not into leather, they have nylon versions too, just like this. This particular bag is their larger backpack, so they actually have a smaller one. But this one happens to fit five pairs of shoes in it. This is the size bag that I personally use when I go and travel. I'm off to see the world! Because I can fit more than enough stuff in here, including my footwear, all my clothes, toiletries, laptop, iPad, everything. It's wonderful. But they also have a slightly smaller backpack, which still fits two pairs of shoes in it, up to a size 15, which is great. So if you're a small footer like myself, it'll fit. If you're a large footer, also fit. So if you wanted to check out anything from Soul Premise, make sure that you click the link down below in our description box. It'll send you straight over to their website. We can check everything out. And if you happen to check out, don't forget to use this promo code right here on the corner of the screen. It's just simply wear testers and it will save you almost half. And with that being said, hot damn they did it. We got a Nike Air Dunk. This is just really cool to me. So obviously the overall package doesn't look exactly like a traditional dunk, which most people are gonna immediately be like, who the fork is that? And I understand that I'm that way too. When I see something like this, it's not exactly what I wanted, even though you gave me what I wanted. It's like if you ask your parent to cook you pancakes and they do, but they add blueberries in there. And it's just like, did I ask for blueberry pancakes or did I just ask for pancakes? Especially if you don't like blueberries, that sucks. And that's what I feel like this is. It's like, we've been asking asking, hey, update your tech in your old shoes so that we can wear them, still have that 80s vibe, but with some comfort underneath for, you know, modern day wear. And while they did the whole comfort aspect, they the entire upper up. Like, do you like these? You wear the Panda Dunks and they're one of your, surprisingly, one of your favorite like go-to shoes besides your New Balance. What do you think about this? Like, would you wear this? They look like toddler shoes that got blown up. Thank you. And then, can you do something for me? Can you put them sole to sole and then show the back to me? It looks like Donkey from Shrek's teeth. It kind of does. <laughs> That's weird. So, yeah, the whole package just isn't working for me. Okay. Man, you got an imagination on you. I thought, <laughs> I thought that I had an imagination. <laughs> I did not, I didn't, would never have seen that. Because they look like teeth. That's all I could see now. Thank yeah. you. You just ruined it. <laughs> That's so awesome. I spent 120 bucks for no reason at all. But yeah, you know how like when they go and they make toddler shoes and they try to make it, but like some stuff they always still like squishy. oversized yeah. and squished. That's what it looks like. Uh, I completely agree. This to me looks like this should have launched Nike SB. This looks like a skate shoe and not a dunk. Whereas the Nike SB dunk looks like a dunk, but it's a skate shoe. That's the way to update. Sh you know what I mean? They added the insole, the zoom, the pour on forefoot and everything. So they're like comfortable. They did a phylon cord cup sole and stuff like that. What, what, what the hell? You already had the plan. Why'd you mess it up? You have one job, just add air in there. That's it. Especially because it's an air strobel. It's really easy. You just replace the regular strobel with the air one and your job is done. But no, somebody had to tweak things and mess it all up. But anyways, the outsole is really interesting because it looks fairly similar to a Nike Dunk outsole, but it also looks very similar to the Jordan Comfort ones. However, this is not the same thing. There is no foam here. This is actually all rubber. The white portion's rubber. The yellow portion's rubber. 
the white top cup sole, also rubber. So yeah, this, when I first pulled it out of the box, I was like, wow, they made like Phylon Plus full length there. And, and wrong. Again, personally, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Like that could have been a really cool like update and feature, but you know, it is what it is. The rest of the cup sole looks fairly traditional outside of apparently these giant teeth on the bottom, which now that's all I see. So again, thank you. You're welcome. It is still stitched all the way around, except for right here at the toe. Again, this is, looks like it's a skate shoe to me. I don't know even what to call that. It's just a cup. It's weird. I just feel like this would be a really good addition to the Nike SB line, especially when you got like stuff like this, like the extra laces and they're like attached like a Nike SB. I'm kind of like, guys, what, what, what was this? Now, as far as the upper is concerned, this is the part where I like it and I don't at the same time. I really like the leather that they used. I think that it's very nice looking. They are very thin cuts, but it's actual leather, so it has a nice soft touch to it. Again, really appreciate that, especially when comparing it to our standard GR Dunks, which are made out of whatever this box is made out of, straight cardboard. The underlay material, though, could have been leather. Instead, they switched out to mesh. I'm not like a huge fan of the way that it looks, but I'm also not against the concept of it i think that that would make the shoe a little bit more breathable it would also make them much easier to break in so a little bit more comfort like for all day wear so i think that the idea and the concept is good i just feel like the execution is really poor like it just looks sloppy something that i love though is just this little like ankle flap you, you can use it you cannot you can let it dangle and all that stuff so again like very traditional kind of dunk features i kept looking at these like once i received them shout out to one of our wear testers discord community members by the way mj is god his name is raul well his handle is mj is god i'm not saying mj is God just randomly, even though he is the goat. But anyways, he actually saw these at one of his stores and he hit me up and he's like, yo, Chris, did you want a pair? And I was like, shut up and take my money. They're 120 for anybody wondering. I have not seen them online yet. So if you're trying to look for them, be a little bit more patient just in case. But anyways, what I was doing is I was looking at them being like, why, what, like, is it just the tongue that looks so weird to me? And it's not, it's actually the eye stay area. They moved the laces completely. Normally you have holes punched through and you would lace up your shoes traditionally. Instead, they use those things that nobody likes those things that are inside of like most performance shoes like the air jordan 34 35 pgs and stuff like that so yeah so we've got just like a rope essentially or a thread that is stitched on and those are your eye stays or your eyelets and again with that little feature right there primarily used on sporting goods like actual performance shoes when i see it on here i'm just like was this supposed to be a nike sb and somebody like was like no this looks dumb and then they were just like well sh we already made them let's put them out as a sports wear release i have no idea yeah, it's just pure speculation. All I know is that when we're talking about skate and skate friendly shoes, hiding the laces is one of the things that you want to do because your board will shred the shit out of them. And when they're in an open ice day like that, that's one of the first things to go. Now, again, the tongue is and massive like this looks like a kitchen sink sponge you know what i mean like this thing is huge it's just really weird it's bulky uh, it's got this weird like top pull tab on there again looks strange it's kind of in the way they move the nike tab like and it's really stiff and stuff so it's just like really weird stuff like tell me that this wouldn't look cool with a regular nylon tongue with the actual nike air tab like a jordan does you know what i mean or like an air force one it would have looked really really clean now the comfort aspect is where they definitely elevated things and that's where the dunk probably needs it most not only is there updates to the cushion system but there is updates to the interior as well so instead of just a regular strobel board which we have a little example for so in case you wanted a visual and everything this is an upper this nylon piece is the strobel it's stitched on all the way around and then what they typically do is glue all of that stuff to the tooling and then you have your shoe there and what a strobel unit does is replaces that piece of nylon with an actual piece of air whether that's zoom or regular air in this case it's regular air so very similar to what we've seen in the PG line like the PG fours and so on and that is going to be right underneath the insole so when you put these on you definitely are stepping on full-length air you could feel it it feels great the insole is a piece of sh but you can always swap that out for anything now at the collar area they've also updated things so in the back here you've got Achilles pillows or notches which is really dope again that's typically a performance feature this is a sportswear shoe this is a sportswear release and a sportswear box sportswear is Nike's casual stuff so why it went this tech heavy in a sportswear shoe like I'm like what the f like this is just weird now as far as the sizing is concerned they do fit true to size despite all the extra stuff including the air the heel notches and a weird tongue they still fit true to size they look really small on feet though because of how like oddly shaped they are like they look kind of bulky like bubbly and stuff so if you're not into that you might not like these but i do think that it's a very cool new option for the nike dunk series i just don't know how many people like again like i'm asking for like a dunk 
with air. This is not really what I was asking for. But anyway, sound off below and let us know what you think about the new Nike Air Dunk Jumbo down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you kind of like along the same lines as me where it's like, yeah, that's a great concept, but like what the f did you do to the Nike Dunk? Like this is crazy. The eyelets on the side even look underwhelmed. This? He just looks like why did you roast me so hard? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> not, not trying to, you know, hurt his feelings or anything. But uh, like I said, I like your concept. But like the execute, you look funny, bro. So, you know, it just is what it is. I just talked to, why did I do, why did I do that? I just talked to the shoe. We've been watching a uh, screen crush too much. That dude and that dog are hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, wrap it up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, distracting me. But anyways, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on the Nike Air Dunk Jumbo below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. We'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.